The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Hi, everyone. Basil Chapman sitting for Larry Pesavento. Sorry, I, I too am missing Larry, but uh, what happened was I had a, 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 a mentioned earlier on during my show that Larry won't be here. Is there any chance that you could do it? I didn't think there was, but there were so many questions that were coming in. I was able just at the very last minute to switch something around, so I was able to free up this hour. Let me just show you something here. So I have the opening call daily newsletter, and I my, my show is the Tiger Technicians Hour, 10 o'clock to 11. I, I, my show comes in just before Larry's. And uh, one of the things I do, which Larry absolutely has never done, using moving averages, etc. I use that all the time. Um, I, I was showing the charts right now. We were discussing this during my show. I said, oh, wait a minute. We've got a signal here that says a buy signal in the E-mini, in the two-minute chart. It should go. And I drew in a cup formation with the left side, right side, price time match. And uh, in fact, I could have done it a little differently. I should have done it, but everything was going so quickly. Normally, what I would do is I would go to either a high point or a low point. And I like to say the number of bars to the upside match the number of bars to the downside, except when you can see that the cup or arch formation just cannot be. It looks more like a lopsided, it looks more like a lopsided uh, gravy cup. Um, and uh, so, what I would have done is right here, let me get rid of this. He has the two minute chart, and then I have a way of looking at it, and it said that using this as a fulcrum to the left side, number of bars from the high to the right side, I could give you a parallel move and said by 1048, we should be testing the high that was made right there at 932 or 4489.25. Well, it, it took one more bar, two, two minute chart, took an extra bar, then it broke out. And then it broke out, and now it's gone to a peak C. And the Chapman Wave methodology, what we're always looking for is from a from a low bar. Whoops, oh, don't do that. No, 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 cancel. <laughs> from a low bar. Whoop, I sounded like Larry there, didn't I? Uh, technical problem, technical problem. From the low bar, we get a start of a of a turnaround, and then you expect four higher peaks. If you get to the second peak B, on the way there, if it goes from a buy signal to a buy mode upgrade based on technical factors, um, that says you should get in the Chapman Way methodology, you should get to at least a D. All right. And then you go time frame through time frame. Well, this has gone to a peak C. And if you look at this little chart right here, I, I've never been able to do this um, because the person who did, did it to me it was actually one of the first people at MIT to be working on the computers way back. Herb Brun is his name. Was his name, I should say. Well, it's still his name. Poor Herb died a few years ago. He used to do a ton of work for me. Um, and uh, we would meet for lunch somewhere, and he, he'd be doing all this stuff. And I had him develop for me, and I because he... He securitized it. He didn't allow it to go out as a public thing. Um, I have no idea. I remember the questions. I found the book that had the questions. Based on the MACD and the stochastic, and I gave him parameters, could you give me Chapman Wave um, support and resistance lines? So look here. He has the support line on the E-mini in the one-minute chart at 4479.50 and 44.77. 0.77. Of course, it does know I'm trading uh, the uh, E-mini, which is in 25 cent increments. It gives you the support and boom, nothing, nothing, nothing until it gets to 45, 11.75. What was the double top high at 11.03 and 11.04? 40, uh, 45.12.25. It's just fractionally higher Then it pulls back. Now you can see it's giving you 44.99, 45 as the support. So this is a peak C. It's in a buy mode because the stochastic's at 82%. The MACD is good. The 9 is way over the 14. Look when the 9 crossed over the 14. Look what happened. At 10.26, it went to a buy mode. 
and it's in a buy mode. It's stayed in there. Now, the 120-minute chart only now has gone to a buy mode, meaning there, there is a, now a chance. I, I, I need to see the stochastic move to 80% as a 73%, and then I can say there's a good chance over the period of the rest of the day we can make a peak C and then a peak D target. And where's the big resistance? Right here, the previous uh, four bar high at the 49, oh, sorry, 45.18 to 45.19, or let's call it 45.20 area. So this is it. We'll come back to this in a moment. I could do it anyway. I could do it. I haven't even looked at gold. Let's look at gold. Uh, gold is made. Oh, how important. Larry never talks about this, and I understand why. He's got fantastic techniques. He doesn't need to. But I always talk about the 200-period exponential moving average. Look at this orange line right here. This is gold. From the moment he started testing it on the downside as support at 23, that's 11 o'clock yesterday, up until 8.50 this morning, 10 to 9 Eastern time, it couldn't let go of that line. It just kept coming. That's how important the 200 period moving average is. Why? Because it's a look back period of 200 periods of whatever, whatever time frame you, you're working on. And I didn't mean to do two. That's not a double buy. That's just an up arrow, and I double clicked. And now look at this: A, uh, A, B, higher, high, higher, high. Yep, C pulls back. Now normally I'd say this could be a peak C, uh, C1, C1, C2, like a double top. I don't need to do that because within it, it's gone to a D. Let me just double check. When you're dealing with numbers like this, I always have to check. Um, 1936.5.6 on the continuous contract, 36.6, uh, 1936.8. So that becomes a D. This becomes an E right here. And that becomes an F. F is where you've got to be really careful. So it becomes an F, get a big tumble to the downside. It's what? The 200 period moving average. And then it has a spiral to the upside. So because afterwards it took out that left side low, this means that I have to consider that this is a G. Now, that's a little unusual. It's a little more, let's call it sophisticated in the Chapman Wave methodology. It's the Eiffel Tower, straight up, straight down. And now we've started a brand new move and has gone to a peak A and a peak B. Gold is acting quite nicely, up 8.6. So this is an A and a B. It could fail. Uh, you remember, I, I'm only following things. I'm not. I'm not gold. I'm watching gold. I'm just following it in the best methodology I can. So this made a peak B. There are other ways that I could describe it, but right now that's the way I'm going to call it. Will it go to a C and a D? We'll see. I, I don't know if it'll do it during the show. In the meantime, that's the way we're looking at it. Now let's go to numbers. The Dow has made uh, a, a nice high today of to two, uh, follow through candle from yesterday to the upside to up to 62 34844 and you can see this cluster formation of consolidation i have a technique that i call the chapman wave inside track repellent propellant zone it went under it and now it's just stuck in this area right now can by monday or tuesday the dow try to take out 35000 uh, and 70 resistance to try to get to the high that was made back on the 29th of March at 35,372. Good question. Oh, I've got a Chapway falling axe formation. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors.
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Folks, we're back. We're looking at the E-mini two-minute chart. Made that PXC. Now digesting gains. See, it's still holding above both the 14 and the 9 period expansion. Moving average. The MACD did dip a little bit. Uh, so far, it's using time. I've got the rule of 136. It's already used up too much. If, it gained, if it's going to move, it means that the next leg up to a D, if it does that, is actually going to be... Um, it could be the start of something more important, and that'll take it to a leg D in the five-minute chart, and we're watching that 10-minute chart. This is the way it is. So a couple of questions came in. One is, does it work in all time frames? Well, I just showed you. I showed you the monthly charts in the, in the, of many of these major stocks, uh, whatever it is, and it happens. It, it, it's, it's a template. In other words, it is a fractal. Of human nature, human nature doesn't change from time zone to time zone. Uh, Ten minutes or it's human nature, and that's I'm looking at a price point of human nature. Will it get to D? Well, I, I technically there was something I wanted to do. It's a little I did it for subscribers this morning to one of my uh, one of the positions that we picked this morning at uh, five dollars and sixty one cents, uh, and then it slipped to about five forty after uh, the people got in. If they got in when I sent out my newsletter, and then it screamed up to five eighty four or something like that. I mean, it gave a it gave a five percent gain in, in in minutes, and then it pulled back, and now it's holding steady. But there was one key aspect that I I did in my mind, I forgot to do it to show the subscribers, and that is, look, here, you see this parallel high, especially with uh, E-mini trading at 25 cent increments. Normally, when I'm trading, I give this what I call a Chapway phantom peak. If there are two bars parallel, especially if there have been other parallel bars, I can use it if there's a little nick in the on-balance volume at the same time, which there was. Look, exactly. You see that? See the little, that little dip? So I would use this and I'd say, okay, D, I'm out. I've, I've got my D, even though it's a phantom D, technically on a purely theoretical basis, this is a Chapman Wave C, but using my alternate count, which I developed years ago, and I've explained to, to subscribers and I've explained to people who've done my webinars, every once in a while, I like to do this just to be ahead of the game. I don't want to be waiting for a D when, in fact, there's a much deeper correction. However, the, the five-minute chart is at peak C. It can take a little time, and the five, uh, the ten-minute chart is in B. So, money management says to me, take whatever you've got, 
take something off at least, and then you can have alternate stops. And then you just have to patiently wait. Look, there's a, a mini channel. I, there's also a technique I call the falling axe, where it makes the lower highs and much lower lows. This is just stuck in the channel. I think it's going to make slightly lower low, and that'll expand that to this wedge formation. What is that? That is this particular pattern here, where it runs up sharply, and then it makes lower highs and much lower lows. And all of a sudden, it finds support. And if it can break this upper trend line, a declining trend line, you can get a one-to-one -to, -one to the upside, and it's in a parallel move, and it's in a parallel uh, angle, and that's really important, meaning the same speed uh, once it breaks that level. So let's see what happens. All right, enough with that. I want you to do a bunch of things, and I'm going to do them right now. I had questions come in. Could I just show the grains as I did the other day? Can I just show you this? You remember the falling axe pattern that I just spoke about moments ago? Here's the falling lower highs and much lower lows, and turns around, tries to break the resistance. We're going to be watching this for a few days to come. Does this? Does the Dow break this upper trend line, declining trend line, with this falling axe expanding from a peak D? Can it break if at the moment the Dow can get to 34,950, 970, that area, that left side high of the 5th of, uh, of April at 34,000, sorry, 35,112 becomes a target. And you just go step by step. In the meantime, you've got all the support on these moving averages right here. All right, I wanted to show you wheat does wheat. Uh, we did this incredible move. This is a technique that I use, Chapman Wave. Uh, this is the Roman candle. What happens at highs, it, it opens, gaps up, has a fractional wick, and then plummets to the downside only to close halfway or two-thirds above the, the low of the wick. The rule of thumb is that in a shorter time frame, if there is a move that holds for, a, it depends on what it is. In this case, I said 120 minute chart. If there's a two or three hour uh, decline underneath the midpoint of the wick, the lower wick, and that would have been, uh, this got smoothed out because it's a continuous contract, so the prices will change. But in the wick at this point, I'm saying 12, 12.42, this is wheat. And uh, then there's a good chance you're going to take out the left side low, test it or take it out. Whoosh, we went down. We plummeted down, and then it made the pattern that I call the lowercase h pattern. What is that? I'm only looking at three patterns, straight up, straight down, cup formation, arch formation, and a combination of one and three, or one and two. In this case, it's one and three, red, because if it takes out that left side low, watch out, because that's showing weakness. It took out the left side low. Then the lowercase h can become a lowercase m. Be careful, because when it takes out the left side low after that, that is really significant. And what did it do? It did. Lowercase h becomes a lowercase m, second arch, plummets below, and it hits the 50-period moving average. That is now the support, and that is at 997. And we're trading at 1,047, making another series of arches. In fact, what I will do is make it simple and treat it as if it's a rectangle formation. A rectangle formation can last a lot longer than your patience. That is wheat. Um, so... Any move under 960 says, uh-oh, that's it for wheat for quite a while. Any move into the 1093 area says, oh, what are you talking about? I'm still in play. Doesn't mean to say I'm moving back to the highs, but I'm in play. Looking at uh, soybean continuous contract, look at that. The rectangle formation, I drew this in. I did not know what would happen. I actually haven't looked at it here. And it did what? It did everything we were talking about. It had a high spike to that leg E on the uh, 24th of Feb, plunges down and then creates the base. This rectangle formation says, in the Chapman Ray methodology, if there's a large rectangle, not the narrow long one, but a large one, you can see a rally if it starts to make higher highs and higher lows, go to at least a peak D, just under, right on or just above the previous high, and then be careful because it could pull back. If it breaks the halfway point of the rectangle, it could go all the way to the bottom. When it went to a peak D, I can now change that from a plus sign to a down arrow, and it made it underneath the previous high. That's always a big negative. Uh, that's what I was talking about, Exxon and some of the other oil 
um, multinational oils. They're all making highs underneath their previous high, and they've already gotten to season Ds. You've got to be careful there. Look what happened. It made a beautiful arch formation, and now soybeans are up 33 and a half points at 1679, coming back again. So this rotation between the arch and the cup and the arch and the cup, now we're in the process of making either a V or an arch formation saying, this is acting well. Someone mentioned the Dan, the DBA, which for subscribers to my opening call, we've had for a long time, trading at 22.27. There's the same pattern. The large rectangle goes, it makes a rally for the H pattern. Now it's in the M pattern. Uh, the, the grains are still in play, but you can see they're now having a... They're having a high level consolidation. If you're looking at corn, continuous contract, look at this, the rectangle formation went under it and that starts a brand new leg A and this could be a new leg B within the context of the rectangle. This is acting a lot better than the others. Corn could in fact break to the upside. It's trading at 768 and a half, up 10 and three quarters. Basil Chapman sitting here for Larry Pesavento. I'll be back in a moment. Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den trading room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels. And make sure you check out Tiger TV for free on TFNN.com or TFNN's YouTube channel for live financial content from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern on market days. Stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Tiger, Tiger YouTube about oats. Well, I, I don't think I've ever looked at oats and even other symbols. I'm looking at the continuous contract. Look at the monthly chart. Makes a low back in uh, early 2020, must have been March. Uh, it was March right there, um, March of 2020 at 
238 round number low goes to peak A, peak B, peak C. Your objective in the Chapman Wave methodology is to, if a buy signal gets upgraded to a buy mode, it should go to at least a D. Well, lo and behold, it went to a D, pulls back and goes to an E in the monthly. Look at the daily chart. Now, this is actually quite fascinating for me because, uh, where did I just do that? Uh yeah, so in the daily chart, it goes from a low of uh, right there on the 14th of January 2022, 598 round number low, and it goes to peak A, peak B, peak C, and then it comes back down. It's not a failure because it didn't take out the left side low, so I can't put a new up arrow, but I can continue because you count each successively higher peak, Peak A, gray peak A, gray peak A, right, even lower. And then it goes B, C, and it goes to D, pulls back. And this is a new leg E. And this is fascinating because um, it's broken this huge rectangle in the, look at this, all the way through. It's taken out the left side high that was going all the way back to November of 2021, Around about 768, double tops exactly at that peak C, pulls back, and now it's a little bit higher. So that is a good sign. And um, the weekly chart, I haven't finished. What was I looking at? Oh, there it is. I wanted to show you this. So Oates, I never looked at it. What's the Chapman Wave obligation is to get to a D if it's a buy mode, right? Upgrade the buy signal. So I do this, and I'm counting. I go right here, the low of... The April of 2018 at 239. Remember, it's a continuous contract. That price will change. Nothing else changes, but the price gets smoothed out. It goes to peak A, peak B, peak C, and lo and behold, it goes to a D. Everything pulls back, and it make, takes out the left side low of 239. It goes to what? It goes to 238. That one point means that now you have to restart the buy, buy signal. Completely. It's, it, that's it. And what did it do? It did the pattern we talked about. That is right there, the dreaded H pattern, but it held beautifully. It took it out, but it, within one bar, it was back above it, and that was it. And then this pattern, this is another thing I'll be talking about because we've got a lot of charts that have done this. Look, you've now got this beautiful bull formation that breaks out. Now look at the breakout. And it's gone to a D, pulls back because the MACD and stochastic, everything's strong. Nine period way over the 14. So Oates is really looking strong, very strong. Oh, that was interesting. I've never done that before. All right. So let's look at, I said we go through those. So the D, uh, DBA is the uh, fund itself for the commodities. It has many other things, but it does have, and this just stuck a little bit in the, in the rectangle formation going sideways. What we want to do is to let's go to gold. I had a question about FCX. So FCX is Freeport McMoran, makes an all-time high in the um, monthly chart in leg C. Let me just double check. Yes, I, I knew that this was the case. So it goes to 40 it goes to 51.99 in March. So far, the high in April is 51.85. It's just 14 cents away in the monthly chart. I still call this a leg C. If all of April does not take out that high by one penny, this becomes a peak C. If it parallels, it's still the leg C. But if it's one penny lower, that becomes a peak C. One penny higher, it continues leg C. All right? Peak E in the uh, weekly chart, still very strong. I drew this in as a left side, right side price time match. We did have a copper stock. We took a little tiny bit of a profit in it, uh, but basically I need to get back into that uh, at a $2 or a dollar, whatever it is, dollar something, um, because if, if copper is going to start to strengthen in a little while, um, that should move. Meantime, Freeport McMurrin has broken the, the arch formation did I say arch? I made a cup formation with an exact left side. This is where it's lovely, where you can see the left side making lower lows and lower lows and lower lows. Makes a low with an on-balance volume turnaround. Everything turns around, and it starts a buy signal. It gets upgraded to a buy mode. And then you can say in the same number of bars from the left side to the right side, can it get back to the 46.10 level, uh, 46.10 level? I'm um, just looking to see. No, it's not. 46.10 level of the week of the 14th of May. Well, lo and behold, it took two weeks early 
to get to on the 21st, week of the 21st of Jan, it goes to 46 20 10 cents higher pulls back sharply it's a little bit like a cup and handle not one of my favorite patterns but everything was holding look how the nine held above the 14 and boom it goes up and now it's 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 digesting gains up at the high is this an all-time high for freeport mcmurran uh look at this incredible cup formation over here in the dreaded a successful test it turns into a huge bowl and that says Freeport McMoran has a target. Oh, I didn't do a left side, right side price time match on this. I thought I had in the monthly chart of 59.66, the high of January of 2011. And I usually do it from here. Can I do that now? So let's just do it live. So if I can't see an exact left, a trough, that makes a perfect visual low. I use this visually as well as technically. I just have to use other techniques. So there's a technique I use which would make this particular candle right here, the, 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 the midpoint. I call it the plumb line, the fulcrum from the left side to the right side to see the same number of bars. Uh, which one did I use? I use this one over here. Right. Now let's see if this is going to work. And now I go click. We go left side, right side, um, and I'm using this as my guide. Okay, so it looks to me like Freeport McMurrin can, over a period of going into the summer, midsummer, let's call it, I'm not going into July between, yeah, in the summer, somewhere in July, that it could retest the high that was made back on the January, January 2011 high of 59.66. It's at 49. Well, that's a long way to go, but let's see if that works out. I'm going to just color this in green. It's called the Chapman Wave Inside Wedge Target Resistance Line. It means that every time it gets close by, it should be repelled. We'll see what happens. All right, so enough with that. Let's get out of this. Okay. Now, this what I wanted to show you is that. Uh, so we did that. We did that. A lot of people are asking about uh, um, gold. So gold. This is very interesting. There's a pattern that I talk about very often, and that is a lengthy, narrow. It starts off wide, but then it becomes a narrow rectangle formation. Well, gold has been in that trapped in that 1450 sorry 1950 to 1700 area for a long time the rule of thumb is if it pops out of it you've got to be careful that it doesn't suddenly spike back down because it's going to go deep into the uh, into the rectangle formation in gold and here we are at 1948 and we're up 10 and look at the daily the daily's got the rectangle formation lowercase h goes to a lowercase m i'll be right back basil chapman sitting for larry quiz event 2027 are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, 
as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. Chapman singing for Larry Perseverance. So you remember I said that there's this thing called the Phantom Chapman Wave Peak. You have two parallel highs. It has to be two parallel highs. And I also want to see one of the technical indicators give a little flicker of weakness. Otherwise, I'm just, I can't use it. Um, and I said I'm going to use this. What I would do is call this a peak D in the in the two minute chart. Now I can put a down arrow and it, it, it's successful. And look what's happened. When this strength You've got to look at moving averages as key support levels or resistance levels. And you remember the 200 period moving average that it broke above? Look how close it's getting. It's touched it. This is going to be really important because if it starts to close in this time frame, underneath, uh, let's call it 44.96, it's at 45.02 right now if it gets there that's a big negative but what you've already seen is trough a trough b trough c it doesn't have to get to a d on the way up you always need d's on the way down i use other technical tools i always want to label it because i need to know how many times it's tested it's made a trough to um at least assess what's going on and you can see the nine is struggling to hold positive the s is there to say when this bar concludes there's a chance it could go to a sell signal that's the one on the two minute chart you can't be thinking weekly or monthly or anything you think two minute chart that's your obligation look at the time frame you're studying don't anticipate something because i have seen and all of you who do this very much um uh, know that if you're looking at a particular bar, that very second, look at this, the uh, one minute bar has how many? It has 48 seconds, 47, 46 seconds. I've seen it where it looks so horrible with two seconds to go. I was about to call, call it a whatever, and it turned around and it flipped the other way. Let the bar complete and wait for the start of the next bar. Look at this. We've got an S, a sell signal for one bar, and now it's gone back to an L, which is long. So this is a nice sideways consolidation. This is the pattern that I talk about. It's used time rather than price. If it can get from 450375 right now to 4475, I'll start drawing in the pattern like this the bowl formation not just a cup but a kind of a saucer pattern i put that in there are always two fighting patterns the one is that it should go up in a in a bowl formation the other is that you've made the dreaded h pattern took out the left side low then quickly moved back up but you could make a second one so remember all we're doing is saying the price is the price i'm not the price the price is the price i'm just trying to use as many techniques as possible 
to be able to decipher it. And when you look at the weekly, uh, weekly, the five-minute chart, the MACDs turned down the statistics, only gone above the 80% level for about uh, six or seven bars, and now it's underneath at 71. Yet the price is holding very nicely, but it's used up time. And it means that there's a chance, it could fa hey, if it fails at a peak C, it's not my fault. Am I to blame? No, I'm just following it, and I'm trying, with all the methodology I have, I'm trying to analyze it as best I can. All right, and the same thing, we don't even have to look at the 10, because it's the one minute, it's the two minutes that's going to count. Two minutes starts to fail, it implies that the five minute will fail. All right, with that, that done, let's continue. We're looking at, what are we looking at? We're looking at people with Marin, the, the Arch formation in the daily at this double top at a peak F suggests very strongly that if it's able to now at 49.02 underneath the key moving averages, but still green, if it's able to get to 50.20, I think that it's stuck in a range and it could hold there very nicely trapped within the 51s and the 47s. But if by Tuesday, Monday or Tuesday, suddenly it drops and it goes below 47, I think I said 47. 20, 47.50. Watch out because that 46 level is the 50 period moving average will become a target. And then you'll see it moving down like this lower highs and lower lows, just as we saw the uh, two minute chart until it found strength. If it finds strength, this one could be a bigger move up, but let's go one step at a time. Okay. So we want to look at bonds. That is always looking at bonds. This is a big deal for him. And most people, I think they're beginning to understand that the bond market is when I say huge, that's not big enough. It is massive. It is just massive. Why? Because countries are buying the dollar or bonds. They, they're involved. So what you've got here is the peak D. Remember, what's the, what do we look for? The fourth highest peak where other things can happen. Look at the daily chart. Hits the 200 period moving average at where? The peak D. I drew this in. I said the Eiffel Tower, straight up, straight down, looks like an uppercase A, capital A. Watch out because if it takes out the left side low, that could be a problem with the one-to-one -to, -one to the downside. Well, I drew in also the Chapman Wave inside track propellant zone, which is now a repellent zone in the weekly chart from that doji candle peak F way back on the week of the 23rd of July 2021. It makes this beautiful double top formation. We have seen it in so many charts within pennies. They come back and they retest and they fail. And what I like to do is there's a technique that I like to use and I'll discuss it when I do my webinar. Look at the left side. Look at the left side of that high where the MACD and stochastic, everything was running sharply. Then you got your blue on balance volume turning down. Look what happened when we went back to that same level. Look how th there was a much weaker M shaped pattern in the MACD. Stochastic couldn't even get above 80%. On balance volume failed. And look what's happened. So these are techniques we want to. This is like the dreaded H, but on the Y pattern, left side uh, high is taken out on the right side with terrible technicals and kaboom it comes down and look at the dreaded h pattern in a monthly chart in bonds this is the tbt watch this tbt took out the left side high of 21.97 and here you are at 22.79 look at this left side right side price time match in the cup formation or more like a ball formation, the 2260 high in the TBT. This is uh, this is the uh, ultra short T uh, Lehman T bond yield, and what T bond? Yeah, the T bond. Mm, give me the exact name. Uh, ultra short 20 year yield. Yeah. So the high of the 19th of March. Uh, that's a weekly chart. 19th of March of 2021, peak D at 2260 comes all the way down to a trough E. There's a, this is actually two, two sequences to the downside. 15.53. And what does it do? I chose this is my, my, my midpoint. And two within one week, short, uh, one week, yeah, before the price time match should have been with the Chapman Wave inside wedge. Let's look at this a little bit deeper. Look at this. With, with the Chapman Wave inside wedge, I'll, sh I'll show how you can draw these lines. Inside wedge target resistance line 
hit, it breaks out above it, peak D, this is really important. Are we about to see the TLT have at least a relief rally at this level from the Chapman Wave Insight Track daily uh, declining mi little mini channel to try to get, look, the stochastics at 18%. I wish it was at 6%. But it's at 18 on balance. No, I think we might have a little bit more to go. But this is where we could get a little bit of a balance. Watching it closely. Basil Chapman sitting in for for Larry Brisavento. Dow is up 235. S&P's up 8. And let's have a look at our little charts. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure. But you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year, or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested, or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Uh, yes. Hi, folks. Uh, just uh, don't forget, coming up uh, straight after the show at noon is uh, TFNN's Fast Market Live, TD Ameri Ameritrade, Think or Swim in Chicago. Uh, a great show, really. They, they talk about options in such a way that uh, not only do you learn a tremendous amount, as we love to do, yeah, TFNN, education, 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 but the trades and things they put on are really terrific. All right, so we're going to wrap this up in a moment. So we've had a sideways move, and that's the reason why I use the Phantom Peak, especially in the futures. Um, just I want to get out why it's propitious. You know, Dave White always says, uh, get out while you can, not when you have to. And in this particular case, you could still be holding. I got in real low. You could still be holding. It's holding the 200-period moving average. Sideways is a trend. Remember, sideways is like going up for for a trend or get down for a trend. Sideways in a rectangle formation can last a lot longer than your patience. The longer it lasts, the greater the chance that it actually pull back. So it's really important in this e-mini chart, two-minute, that I'd say by 10, 10, 12, 10, 
just 10 minutes after noon or a little later. If it hasn't taken out 4496, it's at 4502. If it really needs to get to the 4512 area, and that'll be really good. And if it gets to a D in the five minute chart, that starts to help the uh, 10 minute chart. All right, and you'll see here the automated two minute chart support. Look at all those support levels. Upside 4509.98. So that's called a 4510 is resistance. All right. So, Basil Chapman, all these techniques I discussed in my webinar coming up on the April the uh, 13th. Four o'clock to five thirty, but it's archived and it'll be through um, through um, our system that we're using at yeah, Discord. You can join Discord for a dollar, and if you are a, if you are a subscriber to the opening call, my newsletter. You just automatically come in, practice it a little bit beforehand, sign up now, and it's a dollar a year for those people who, who only want to go to the den. But if you're a subscriber, I believe you can just come right in. Uh, it's your right to come in, and it should be a very simple matter. Uh, so pra practice beforehand. You don't want to be doing that as I've started the show and you can't get in. Help, help, I can't get in. Anyway, wonderful. Uh, have a wonderful weekend. Stay tuned for great programming here. The Dow's up 242, S&P's up 8. The Dow's leading, and we'll see if it continues to lead. Uh, have a great day. See you on Monday. Thank you.